Hello, hello friends. Welcome back to my channel. If you have never been here before and you end up enjoying what you see today, then click that red subscribe button and become a part of the family before you go. I am I'm on a chair and I just feel like it's going to break at any second. So let's like live in life on the wild side if you, if you ask me. Anyway, if you saw our last vlog, then you know that Carlos got a job offer in North Carolina and we weren't really sure if we were gonna take it. We had a lot of my bad. My camera dies at the most opportune moments. Anyways, sure <coughs> if we were gonna take it or not. It's a huge move literally across the country as we are in California. But it has been about a week or two since that video and we dove in. Before we even fully made a decision, we were like, let's put an offer in on this house that we like. The market is super competitive right now. I really didn't think that they would take our offer, <laughs> to be honest. But even before they did, I started feeling confident. I kind of feel like I had this slap in the face moment where I was just like, you know what, we need this change. It's gonna be good for our family. Have the chance to live a better life and provide better for our children while getting a new start. After that moment, we got the call literally the next morning saying that they accepted our offer, which is insane since right now people are kind of fighting for houses, especially over there and in the price range that we were looking in. So yeah, we're moving. Um, last weekend we did have Carlos's kind of goodbye thing because it was his last weekend off. We had a barbecue, so we kind of hung out, made food together, and duh. My sister, my mom, and I kind of spent a lot of time in the kitchen together. Didn't film too much because my hands were nice and chickeny. And had some people over and played some card games, mostly his friends. And I just had this moment of awe where I was watching him laugh with his two like lifelong friends where I was like, I am obsessed with my husband. I don't know if it's normal. Sometimes I'm like, eh, yeah, I like him. He's my friend. But then there's some times where I'm like, I would die without him. Like, it was one of those obsessive moments where I was like, you cannot leave me. Because we had a little bit of the sibling fights as my brother was leaving. <laughs> Oh my. <laughs> oh my god. Not my car! <laughs> Get the hose and hose her down. Oh my god. <laughs> oh, here goes the neighbor's car. <laughs> oh, we like him. Don't do that. Everybody go inside. <laughs> <laughs> we had a little bit of an adventure where a writer may or may not have hit her stepsister in the face. It was an accident! Knocked out Rainy's too. Yeah, that's so. like that. We're currently looking in the grass because, yeah, we were playing a game that felt so we could very well be pushing it in further, walking around on it. Damn it. We're investigating. Let's All right, so too. let's reenact it. You were like okay. this. <laughs> Mounted right here, and and they were wrestling. playing. But she definitely like punched her across wrestling. the face we this were. way. So. And Ryder went like that, and it hit Rainy in the mouth. And they were laughing. And the next thing everybody knew, Rainy I didn't actually slap her. We never did find that tooth, so it is just still somewhere in our backyard. But then Tegan started feeling a little bit sick and acting like she has never acted before did not have my camera in my hand for this moment because it was like she was being possessed and I was just so worried that all I wanted to do was hold her and help her to feel better. Nothing I did made her feel better. Plus to say, I stopped recording and spent my night catering to her and hoping that she would get better. 
but I just thought I would update y'all as far as what we have been missing. Well, yeah, we're moving. All right, I've put it off long enough. I guess it's time to get started. We need to clean everything, obviously. Talking like you think you're royalty You think that I'm afraid But I don't break I heard you question my stability You think I'll fall just like a guillotine But I am here to stay Won't look away The storm is coming So you better start running
Just like a spark that's breaking out Can't make a stop, can't turn back now We know that there's no room for doubt It's not being made. The room is clean. Well, that sock. That sock needs to be put in the laundry. This stuff is stuff we're gonna get rid of. I think I'm done going through this room. Still have to finish my room. Already gone through my clothes twice and gotten rid of new things each time. So I feel like if I do it again, I can get rid of a little bit more. I just, I just struggle with it. Ma'am, what are you doing? Oh, are you packing? Yay, good job. Oh, she's so smart. What are you doing? Yeah, you putting stuff in the drawers that I just emptied out. Yeah, yay. Good job! <laughs> oh my goodness! What's going on? What are you doing? Jude? What are you doing? I just got my toys. Oh, you're getting your toys? <laughs> this egg box is Jukes. He has decided that he's going to start packing for the move. <laughs> he's done very good, in case you were wondering. Anyway, I'm guessing I will just put away the rest of the laundry tomorrow. I am about to cook some dinner, and then I think I will call it a day. Carlos isn't going to be home until around 7.30, but I will show you what I'm making because it's bomb, and everyone deserves to know such a good recipe. So easy. So amazing. Okay, I'm going to do the best I can at showing you what we do because I have a leash. Or would you call it a tumor? Oh, you want down? Yay! Uh, I the hell? Can, I see, can I speak? Cheese? Yeah, it's cheese. Cheese? Okay, it's seriously so easy. So all you're gonna need is a cake pan and one for oil and then one for, oh dang it, I forgot my sass. Forgot my sass for green chili enchilada sauce. Unless you do the red ones. I like the green ones much better. Jude, please. You're gonna need shredded cheese, sour cream, and chicken. Yeah, canned chicken. I'm using cream of mushroom. Typically, I would use cream of chicken. I'm so sorry for the screaming children. There's bees in our yard apparently. Then you're also gonna want a big pot, and I will show you why if I can set this baby down. Oh, wait, you want down? Okay, and a big pot, which I forgot to get out. Okay? <laughs> so, 
sour cream in. I like sour cream, so we're gonna use the whole thing. Pour it in. All right. Trying to have a good helper, but it's really difficult to film from this angle, so I don't know how it's gonna work. This is cream of mushroom because they gave me the wrong one, but it's still gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. Shake, 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 shake. Woo! Good job. It's good, huh? Yeah. Oops. Okay, we're gonna do two cans of chicken. Yeah, I'm gonna do two. I'm gonna do one of the going getting nice and melted and mixed up I'm gonna start the tortilla you're going to fry up the tortilla semi hot well obviously hot hard then you're going to put it in the enchilada sauce and you're gonna do that over and over again until this first layer is done when you have the first layer down, you are going to take the mix from earlier and just put it on. Don't use all of it. Maybe use about half of it, like so. And then you are going to start the process over again. Once you have another layer, you're gonna put cheese on it, and I will show you that in a second. Fill her up with cheese, put this back in again, and then start the tortilla process over again. One more time. Layer her up with cheese again, and then she is ready for the oven. I like to set it to... What? What do you say? My thumb sticks. To set it to 250. <laughs> And then we're gonna put her in for 20 minutes. I usually like to have green onion, but Walmart didn't bring my green onion, so we're just not, not doing it this time. It's also really good if you put on like some jalapenos, but since we are feeding it to the children, we're not gonna do that this time either. But it's so bomb, so easy, super quick. Makes a little bit of a mess, so like, you gotta do it that, but. Anyways, 20 minutes, which gives you enough time to make any sides that you want to make. I'm probably going to do beans and Spanish rice tonight. It's a super carby dinner, obviously, with the tortillas. But it's not a healthy night. It's not a healthy meal. But worth it! And that is the finished product, guys. Like I said, it is so good. So good, super easy, low budget. The kids like it. At least my kids like it. I don't know. But yeah. So, I just thought I would share it with you. That's it. Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna tap out for the day. Whoa, hello, hello. Is, this, is that too bright? That is way too bright. Anyways, like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and tap out for the day. I just wanted to show you that. Thank you so much for hanging out with me. I am going to have a lot more cleaning slash organizing slash packing videos coming as we are moving. <clears throat> So, if you enjoy that kind of content, then go ahead and subscribe to me and let's be friends. I love it. Thank you for watching and we will see you in our next video. Bye guys.